In this video, I will show you how to practice SQL queries using a real data set provided by Microsoft. We have a complete YouTube playlist to practice writing SQL queries. New videos will be uploaded to the playlist every week. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos. Link to the YouTube playlist and other useful resources are provided in the description below. We also have a free course to practice SQL queries using 30 scenarios. Check out the link in description. In this video, I will show you how to download the AdventureWorks sample database and restore it in Azure Data Studio. The same database can be downloaded and restored in SQL Server Management Studio. If you want to install SQL Server on Mac or Windows, check out the resources in the description. Let us see now how to practice SQL queries using the real dataset from Microsoft. To practice SQL queries, you need a real dataset that represents the tables, schemas, database objects similar to your next job or project. AdventureWorks Database This is a database provided by Microsoft and it is an OLTP that is online transaction processing kind of database. This database is for a imaginary multinational manufacturing company called AdventureWorks Cycles. So if you take this imaginary company, so this company has like uh, different tables, different uh, schemas to, man to, to maintain their uh, plant. So all this information you can see once you install this AdventureWorks sample database. So let us see now how to get this installed and practice our SQL queries. Type AdventureWorks sample database and this is the sample database provided by Microsoft. You can find the link for AdventureWorks sample database from Microsoft.com. Click on that link. It will direct you to the download page. Scroll down and click the AdventureWorks 2017 backup file. You need AdventureWorks 2017 because you installed SQL Server 2017. Click Save. So it got downloaded. Go to the Downloads folder. You can see the file here. Next, you need to restore this backup file to SQL Server. So just go back to the Data Studio. And you can find in the Restore option here. But before that, let me first copy this downloaded backup file to my local drive. So in my C drive, I'm just creating a backup folder where I'm going to copy this downloaded backup file. I'm just copying it. To this newly created backup folder in my local drive. Now back to the Azure Data Studio, click restore and choose the backup file as option and choose the file path, backup, the C drive, backup folder which I created, I have this backup file, click OK and leave the names as default, click restore. You can see the database getting restored, it will take a few seconds and you, you can see the database successfully restored on the SQL server. And we can verify this now by going to this window. If you don't see this window, just click the button here and you will be seeing this window again. Go to the databases and you can see the sample database got restored. Let's write a query again this database. Click new query and we'll try to find the number of tables 
in this database so let's write a basic query select the query hit run and you can see the tables inside this sample database so these tables already has pre-populated data using which you can practice it has 71 tables so using this 71 tables we can see our demos and type in AdventureWorks database so you can see the official Microsoft website AdventureWorks sample database click that link and you can see the sample database AdventureWorks scroll down and under OLTP so you can see the AdventureWorks 2017.back this is the file you need to download so this is because if you see the version that you installed on your Mac, it's SQL Server 2017. So the sample database, the sample adventure database you're going to download is going to be the 2017 one. So once you click that, you can see the file getting downloaded. Since you don't have any user database with the SQL Server, you need this particular database to practice your SQL queries in your Mac and for learning SQL Server. You can see the file in the download section it got downloaded open the terminal and then list out the directories you can see the downloads so change the directory to list the files within the downloads directory list the files you can see the adventureworks 2017.back file which you downloaded but it is in the downloads directory SQL server won't be able to access this particular downloads so you need to copy this file to a folder where SQL server can access it so what we are going to do is as a first step we need to create a directory within the SQL server so we are using this sudo docker command using which we are going to create a directory so where slash op slash mssql is a system path which is accessible by ms hyphen sql server so using the sudo docker command what you are going to do is you are going to copy this particular file to the ms hyphen sql servers file system path so if you go to the dashboard I'll show you so you can see the server name ms hyphen sql hyphen server so this is the same so we are giving the server name here so what we are going to do is in that server we are going to create a directory so the directory name is going to be backup so this is the file path where this backup directory will be created so that's a new directory so to that directory we are going to copy that AdventureWorks sample database so when you run this command it will ask for your mac password so once you give it so the backup directory got created in the ms sql hyphen server file system now you are going to copy this AdventureWorks database from the downloads folder to the backup folder which you created now so using the cp copy command you are going to copy this adventureworks 2017 backup file to the file system path within the sql server so this is the path so ms hyphen sql hyphen server is your sql server name and this var slash opt slash ms sql slash backup is the path file system path so sudo docker is going to be the command using which you are going to copy cp is the command to copy this particular file the backup file which is going to be copied from the downloads folder so you can see right in the downloads 
So we are within the downloads. So we are copying this particular backup file. AdventureWorks 2017 to the file system within ms-sql-server to the backup folder which we created in the previous step. So once you copy this one, we can see the next step. Open Azure Data Studio, go to Home and Restore, click the Restore option and you can see the restore from click the backup file and here you choose the path from where you can like uh, pick the backup file so if you're not sure about the path you can go to the terminal window and there you have copied to this particular path var slash opt slash mssql so let's uh, check this particular path so it's going to be the directory where and under which opt and under opt it's going to be mssql mssql and within that it's going to be the backup and in the backup directory you can find the backup file so select that file so once you select it you can see the complete path where opt so you can confirm this path the terminal window so you can see the path the exact path so this is the path you have the file click ok and you can see the database name getting populated adventureworks 2017 for the target database so you can leave it as default and click restore so you can see the sample database getting restored and it's successful so it's now restored go to the servers and if you go to the databases, you can see the database, it got restored. Click new query and you can see the tables within the sample database. So just try this query to check the number of tables within this sample database. So using this query, if you run, you can see that uh, total 71 uh, tables are there. So using this table, I will show you how to learn SQL Server programming in Mac.